This is a few weeks after our first and then second applications of the ag. These four rows right here where I did apply the ag to the ground. I'm still on the east end of the garden facing west like I've been videoing each time. So the row to the right hand end is a row of okra. I did not apply there. These two rows that are pretty open, we did apply and planted some collards a few weeks back. And you can see those are coming along pretty good. Then these two rows right here are rows of peas that, if you can see closely enough, are blooming and and we'll be picking peas in the next, well, right away. And then the areas to the left of these two rows of peas, from there to the edge of the garden, has had no uh, application. This is one week after Labor Day. It's actually September the 10th, tomorrow being the 10th anniversary of 9-11. So the tomato plants have essentially finished up their work. Squash and cucumber, which, which were here, are gone. So I'm just going to walk over to the garden and do a little bit of a soil test of the areas that I have treated versus I haven't treated and just see how the texture of the ground appears. All right. This is just as I entered the garden on the east end. These are, of course, the two roads where the collards are planted. Very, very easy to get my finger to go straight into the ground. I'll just move over one row Try to zoom out just a little bit. Same story there. But if I move over one row further, which is to the edge of this ochre row, where there has not been any treating done, Obviously much different. <clears throat> I just can't imprint the ground there. All right, I'll just turn right back around, <clears throat> go across these two ochre rows, and find me sort of an open spot over here in the in the bean row or the pea row. Same story here. That spot right there is stiff right there. Let's see if I can find my finger here. <clears throat> so it does appear that the ag product has done exactly what it's designed to do. Now these two rows where the collars are, these two rows where the peas are, were cultivated with a little small lightweight tiller, the one that you've seen in the other videos, just prior to us planting. And down at the other end of the garden, you remember in the earlier videos, I've mentioned that I mixed some soil amendment down there, and you can see the difference in the color of the dirt. So that's the reason I'm not doing this test down there because I know that's softer because I'd put the soil amendment earlier in the year and got more down there than I did up in this end of the garden. So I'm just doing my soil test up here where the, it's just the dirt as it is. 